What I wanted to create here was a ecologically sustainable village. A place where people could come and feel inspired to make small changes in their own lives that of course could make a big difference with the planet. So that they can start to reduce their consumption, to start to reduce their carbon footprint on the planet. So we try to put that into practice here with uh, the items that we buy. We start to look at the packaging. We start to look at how it's been produced. We start to look at how far did it even have to travel to get here. By separating out all our rubbish, so all the organic waste gets composted back into the garden, all the cardboard and paper gets used as mulch in the garden, all the soft plastic gets sent off to get recycled into reusable plastic bags, all other recyclables such as tins and plastic containers and glass bottles goes to the recycle centre so that we end up with very, very little that uh, goes towards landfill. We have about three acres of gardens that we are maintaining. We produce most of our vegetables and fruits from our own gardens and uh, have to buy very little from outside and even when we do buy from outside, we try to source it all from local suppliers. And for electricity, we use very, very little from the grid and we produce uh, more than we need from our solar panels. So we actually are most of the day putting electricity back into the grid. We harvest all of our water needs from the roofs of the buildings and we collect that. We have over 800,000 litre storage capacity. So Zone 1 supplies all of our drinking water. We then have another storage area which is used for the laundry and bathroom. And then we have another area, the larger one, where we store water for watering our vegetable gardens.